welcome to Midwestern Prep. So today I am doing just kind of a complete drugstore makeup haul. So these are just some of the things that I picked up over the past couple of weeks and I wanted to go ahead and share them with you. And then I plan on doing maybe a little bit of detail about some of the items. I know I'm going to do the lip stains um, and then possibly some other items just depending on what I come up with. And then certainly if you guys have some ideas of things that you'd like to share, Leave them in the comment field below and I will share more with you. Okay, so this video may run a bit long because I have a lot of stuff, so I may split it into two. Just make sure that you check out both part one and part two. So I bought um, a several lip stains. I've been on the hunt for the perfect lip stain, and this is the first one that I was drawn through. It's Revlon Just Fitting, and it's got two ends to it. So you've got the first end for the lip stain. And then you have the second end for the balm. And so it's like easy peasy, one stop shopping. This one I got in Lust. And um, it's a very good product as far as lip stains go. Um, I do like that it's got the two in one. That was a bonus. I also purchased two Maybelline um, Color Sensational Stains. These two are like magic markers. I thought that they worked really well. Um, I am wearing right now Bitten Berry, which is the first one, and then I also got Cherry Pop, which is the second one, and these are both very good products as well, and, you know, I'm sure I got it at either Target or Walgreens. So, I've been watching YouTube a lot, confession time, and I'm learning a lot. Like, I'm meeting a lot of great people, but I'm also learning a lot. And, you know, not knowing a lot about makeup, I had no idea about the importance of these brushes. But apparently, it makes all the difference in the world. So, um, I did get a couple of brushes. I got an e.l.f. foundation brush, and then an e.l.f. defining eye brush, which is for your eyeshadow. And then, um, I think I got this one at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and it's Lilique. And this one is um, an angle angle shadow brush and this is good for like doing cat eyes which I still don't know how to do yet but apparently in order to learn to do so I'm going to need one of these brushes so I got all three of these and I'll show you what they look like okay so this is the elf foundation brush that I got and this is the elf defining eye brush that I purchased and this one is the Lilique, it's the angle shadow detail brush that I purchased. So, I'm, I'm not really sure how to use any of these yet, but I plan on learning on YouTube. So, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Okay, I did, no, I didn't do a video. I let you guys know that I bought the um, Maybelline Falsies Mascara, and I'm really, really impressed with this one. Um, I bought this probably about two months ago, and it really does like lengthen your lashes, but then I heard about this L'Oreal, it's the Voluminous Million Lashes, it just came out, and I decided to give this one a try as well, and that's actually what I'm wearing today, maybe I'll do um, a close-up video to kind of show you the difference, and do um, one on one eye and one of the other, they both have their advantages, I found that the falsies really was great for lengthening, but the, just like they say in the commercials, the Voluminous Million Lashes um, really gave me a lot more volume, and it was lengthening as well, so um, I really like the way that this one works, um, and I'm a sucker for the packaging, so it's like nice packaging as well, and it's got like a nice round brush. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up on the detail on that, but it's got a nice round brush with like like, it's like a caterpillar, like, it's like a million different, like, things on it, so I think that that helps to, like, give you more volume, but I was really impressed with this. I have naturally long lashes, um, but I still thought that it just made it look like I had, you know, a, a million more lashes, so I was really, really happy with this product, and I think this is going to be, like, my new favorite. This is the packaging for it, like I ripped it apart, but if you're looking for it on the shelf, this is the packaging for it. I highly recommend this one. 
Okay, so I also picked up the Threblon Photo Ready Foundation. I was using CoverGirl, and I was using a powder foundation, but I actually have kind of dry skin. So in talking on Twitter, and specifically to at Skin Deep Beauty on Twitter, um, she recommended that I go with a liquid foundation to combat that. So learn something new every day. And then I also um, saw a couple of tutorials with the Revlon Photo Ready, so I decided that I would take my new brush and my new foundation and give that a try, so that's what I'm wearing right now, and I'm really happy with the way that it's turning out. I think it really does help, like, in terms of, like, just giving me maybe an all-over, more dewy look, and the, it was pretty easy to match up the color, so this one is cappuccino, and what I was thinking was that I would go for the caramel as well, which is a lighter shade, so I could get, like, more depth, because I was also learning that, like, you don't necessarily need to go with one color. You can kind of mix the colors. So, uh, I've been doing pretty well with this one, and the coverage is very nice, and it blends pretty well. So, I don't know if it's the foundation or the new brush, but I'm really liking what it's doing for me, and I highly recommend this product. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. The button is right above. Don't forget that I have a $100 gift card contest going on right now. I need you guys to go to this link. I'll put it right there. And sign up to become a member of HallVideoTV.com. I'm looking for some great YouTubers that I can feature on the site. And then also, I want to get you guys interacting on the site so that we can learn a lot more from each other. So don't forget to do that. And then... I will see you on the next video. Bye.